Hi, welcome back to One Word a Day. My name is Sophie. Uh, I'm going to show you one word, one Chinese uh, phrase a day, which is made up of multiple words. And um, so far we have seen two words, three words, four words, seven words combinations, and you will see more. Um, now let's start. We always start with review of yesterday's word and then today's. So ma hou pao means afterthought, means being critical actually afterthought and means being critical of being critical of afterthoughts. Okay, if you don't get it, get back to yesterday's episode. Um, so today I'm going to carry over the word after. In this case, it becomes late. Okay, I will show you the whole word and then explain. Ren. <clears throat> Doesn't sound good. Ren. Okay. One by one, ho. So yesterday we said, okay, it has a walking following the instructions from the mouth, which is following action. Uh, and then it becomes a, like a signifier of something behind something else. And in this case, in this um, context, ho fa zhi ren, it means the late, the, not the first one, but the second one. If you're the second one, you're after the first. So that's the meaning. Fa, um, okay, fa means um, actually release of the arrow. So if you have done archery, which I had a fortunate to do, like you, you, you pull your bow, right? And then you release, release the arrow. And that's the original meaning of fa. It means something shoot out. And um, in this context, it simply means make a move. It doesn't really mean, you know, you're shooting the arrow out, um, but it is, um, you know, coming from this. Um, okay, this word is a little bit complicated and hard to explain, but you um, here can know on the right side, with these two vertical lines and with the second vertical line longer with a hook at the end. Um, that, that is a signifier of something like a weapon or a chopping knife. Um, so in this case, um, it means to, to stop, to contain, to suppress. So, I mean, I just put what I thought is the best matching English concept, one word in here. So suppress. So late, move, surprise, suppress, the ren. Super simple, two strokes, one long one, and, and kind of in this shape, right? Um, when we write that, the top portion here, it comes from the left stroke. So you make this long curve line first. And then you join this in this with the right stroke like that. And that simply means person, human, with you know, two leg standing thing. <laughs> Sorry, it's a simply super simplified stick figure without a head or arm. It's just torso, two legs, and that's person. And in this case, it's opponent, like your opposite person. Um, so Obviously, this is talking about a situation in, in combat, right? So your opponent make a move. You make a response, a response to that move in reaction to the, the first mover. So you make the second move, but somehow you can contain or stop or suppress your enemy. So that's the full meaning. And I couldn't find a, a good matching concept to this, you know, description of your almost like a battlefield um, combat strategy. And I don't know much about martial art either. So uh, not really helpful, um, but I, I find, okay, we have first mover advantage, right? This is actually 
a late mover advantage because you already have information input. Somebody already make a move and you can make the judgment of what's the best move in response to that person's move. And I find the best picture and the best martial artist I can find, Bruce Lee, in his video scene here, it's kind of illustrate that moment of in a combat situation, your opponent, your opponent, you know, do this. And, uh, and then his hand is kind of suppress it, pushing it down. And then he has his fist raised on the other hand to, so that's the, the concept of like you make your better move after you see what your uh, because once your opponent position itself i mean himself in a in a certain move against you he's already laid himself out there and then you can based on his move to tell the better move to go against this one i mean that's logical right that that's what i would imagine in a in a combat situation and here i just um you know throw in a quote that i i, I appreciate a lot from bruce lee and um, this is like a co commentary on the contemporary life that we're having that um, oftentimes it's so easy. Like we, we want life to be easy. We want to be a baby. We want to, you know, have a, a smooth sailing in our life, which is probably easier compared with the earlier generations when they have war times or you know famines or you know even bigger problems than our times uh, when we have so much comfort in our life but bruce lee um probably foresee this coming that in our generation in the later generation life are much easier uh in terms of you know comfort and uh you know food supply we, we don't really need to worry much about that um and but because humans like in human development um, that you just get stronger because you have a strong enemy. Um, you can only go like one step further than your opposing force, right? So if it is a low, you know, easy task, you don't really have the opportunity to improve. Um, so he is saying here is, my reading is like, don't, don't even pray for, for make it easy for yourself. Because I mean, probably he foresee this, um, that, um, and also as a, as a warning, like life is going to be hard. It's not going to be smooth sailing all through your life. For sure, some point in your life, something, you know, heavy is going to happen. And um, instead of praying that you're not going to encounter anything turbulence in your life, which is like the chances of that is super, super low. Don't even pray for that. Get ready, get ready, build your strength. So when it does come, you are not going to get crushed. Or even if you get crushed, you have the, the courage or the endurance to get back up. So that's his teaching. And I, I even if in a comfortable life of 2021, I mean, Pandemic is bad for a lot of people, I understand it, but still compared with the previous generations, our life are relatively comfortable. And um, I find it still illuminating for me, for my generation. <laughs> um, I, I don't want to speak on, on behalf of anybody else, but at least for me, it resonates with me. Like I, I, don't, I don't want just comfort, I don't want comfort. I want to be strong. I want to build myself up. Uh, and, um, you know, difficulties, challenges, um, hardships are welcome. And um, when I find myself to rise uh, above that difficult situation, or I put myself through something, like almost like intentionally make it harder for myself so that I can be stronger, I, I, like that me better than you know just make it easy for myself <laughs> um okay i that's the end of today's show hope to see you again tomorrow thank you for being with me <laughs>